Hello and welcome to Last Food and Barbecue. So my friend Colin over at Colin's Cooking Channel, link below, uh, is hosting this three ingredient cook-off. Uh, he did initially just pull three ingredients out of a hat or out of a jar actually, or two jars. Anyway, watch the video. Uh, and he uh, decided to pull one more because it was a little bit hard. He ended up with four ingredients out of which three needs to be included in the meal. Those were pork, uh, cabbage, artichoke, and uh, melon. So immediately I thought, well, of course I'm gonna make some uh, pork tenderloin medallions with uh, lemon sauce and fried artichoke. And together with that, I'm gonna use some cabbage that I'm gonna slice thinly into long strips and make like a spaghetti with it. Anyway, tag along and I'll show you how I'm gonna do my entry in this three ingredient cook-off. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested to do this, you're not gonna be tagged. You can just go to the video that he's posted and I have it below and you can check it out for yourself and just follow the, uh, the rules that he posts there. Anyway, tag along, I'll show okay, you. Okay, so there we go. I have got half a head of cabbage, one um, honeydew melon. I hope this is gonna be ripe enough, otherwise I'll have to see sweeten it. Couldn't find any fresh artichokes, so I bought this huge yard of uh, uh, marinated artichoke, um, uh, artichokes <laughs> that I'm gonna use instead. I'm gonna fry them in some way. And then I've got some tenderloin. I'm gonna use some button mushrooms and maybe something more, but if I do, I'm gonna add it along the way and I'll tell you all about it in the Okay, end. so to start off, I cut the cabbage into pieces and remove the heart. And I got this thingamajig, mandolin. I never used it before, so I'm gonna to try to see how it does. And I'm gonna start off not using the guard because I think this might work better without it. And then I'm gonna do, because this was extremely sharp thing. Hope it's gonna stay sharp for a couple of days. This is harder than it looks. And there we go. One bowl of cabbage. Let's put that to the side. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna add uh, two white onions as well. So I'm gonna slice them as well. This thing is extremely sharp. This is start off. There we go. And there goes my eyes. Really thin slices. And that's also gonna go to the okay. side. Um, so let's check this melon. I'm gonna use half of this, I think. Need a spoon and I'm just gonna remove the seeds. Okay, so I'm gonna slice this into thin slices like so. I'm gonna use another knife, a small peeling knife. This is a little bit hard inside the skin here, so I'm gonna remove the skin. Just like so. And then maybe cut it in half. This piece was actually a little bit thick. This piece was a little thick, so I'm gonna put that in a, the sauce skillet. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we have the garnish. I'm gonna put some cling film over this and put it in the fridge. Put that aside so far. And then the rest of this, I'm just gonna scoop out and put in the Okay, spray. so I would say that's about two cups of scooped out melon. And to that, I'm gonna add one deciliter red wine. There we go. And I'm gonna bring that to a boil and let it simmer for a bit so that the melon breaks okay, down. The melons have been boiling for about 10 minutes. Time to use this. There we go. Three tablespoons of sugar. Something like so. 
some loose in there and then we're gonna add three tablespoons of the seasoning it's gonna give it a lot of taste and some sweetness I don't think it's gonna drown out the melon feel anyway the melon part of this dish is actually not going to be the sauce itself. It's going to be the garnish that's going to go into this at the end. Okay, so we're going to start off by frying up the cabbage. I'm going to be using I would say half a stick of butter. And then we're going to fry the cabbage until it goes tender. That's going to melt underneath there if you worry. It's not going to be a problem. I know this could have been boiled, but I prefer doing it this way. I think it tastes better. And to this, we're just going to add a dash of black pepper. And a little bit of salt. Going to put that on a medium high heat and just let it go. We're in no rush. Yeah, I completely forgot. Uh, I was going to fry some onion, weren't I? So I'm just going to let them go translucent to the side here before I whisk them into the rest of the cabbage or into the cabbage. Okay, so this is starting to go translucent a little bit. I'm going to be pretty happy with that. So I'm going to put a lid on it and let it steam or cook at low heat for 20 minutes and I'll bring you back. It turns out we're only going to be three for dinner today so I'm only going to use one of these. Take the one with least trimming I'll take that one. I'll save the other one for another day. Just going to take that out pat it dry with some paper and this is going to be this is going to be very easy. I'm just going to slice this up into medallions and then I'm going to season them with, wow, you got it, tomato and basil. Well, you might hear in the background the, the thing boiling away. So we're going to remove any excess fat. It's usually not that much fat on a pork tenderloin, but this silver skin, I like removing as much of that as I can. And don't worry, if it's some meat on here, it won't go to waste because I'm going to cook this for the dogs. I usually don't give them raw pork or raw chicken, but or but I will give them some raw raw cow. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side, and then we're just gonna slice this up. I'm gonna get another knife because I'm so tired of hearing I'm using the wrong knife all the time. I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I want slices that are about half inch. I'll start at the thick end. I'm gonna cut them like so. These are gonna be really nice medallions. This is a very nice tenderloin. Just gonna season them. And then it's time to put them on the stove. I'm gonna fry these in a cast iron skillet. Or actually I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm gonna do the artichoke first, I think. End up with the meat. Okay, so this basil and tomato by Santa Maria, it's a taste of the Mediterranean. So it's a Mediterranean dish. Let me read this. It's got salt, garlic, tomato, onion, black pepper, parsley, basil, uh, chili peppers, and some citric acid. That's going to be good. So it turns out when I opened up the jar with artichoke, they're actually cut into pieces, so I'm not going to do anything with them. This is one cup of them, and then I'm going to quarter up six cut mushrooms. I'm just going to wash them off. There we go. So I'm just going to cut these into quarters, because then they're going to be about the same size as the artichokes, and about the same amount. And there we go, ready for the frying pan. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the mushrooms. Uh, I'm gonna add just a teaspoon of oil and the mushrooms in there, and I'm gonna cook these until they get rid of their water. And 
one, once they've done that, I'm uh, gonna have the artichokes in there. Okay, so these have boiled down a bit and I was gonna add the artichoke in there and of course the camera wouldn't start. Anyway, I'm gonna fry this a little bit and then uh, put this to the side, keep it warm. Okay, so these are starting to get a little bit brown edges and going, going translucent. So I'm gonna put a lid on it, lower the heat to a minimum and then just leave them be. I think that's going to be good enough when it's time to serve them. Okay, so I browned a little bit of butter in a cast iron skillet and time to cook the medallions. So I heated up the pan to a high heat, melted the butter, low the heat to medium high, and then I'm going to cook them until the color has crept up the sides and they get a nice golden in the bottom. It's going to take about two minutes per side as well, and then I'm going to lower the heat to medium low and let them finish. While waiting for the meat to finish, I'm gonna bring the sauce that has thickened nicely up to temp and then we're gonna add the melon slices in there. Okay, so this is what they look like after about two and a half minutes when I just flip them. Okay, so the melons are in there and the sauce is simmering. I'm just gonna fold this in. I don't wanna break them up. I want them to keep their shape. Probably looks like I'm drunk, which I'm not. Anyway, just gonna cover them. This sauce is actually very, very tasty. Okay, time to plate this. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of the spaghetti, cabbage spaghetti. Make a little base, just like so. As you might see, this is rather translucent now. And then we're gonna add a couple of the artichokes. the edges, a couple of mushrooms, and then it's time to add a few medallions to this. Something like so, and then the last piece, I'm gonna put two little slices of melon on there. And then we're just gonna dress a little, little bit of sauce on top of there. And that's it. Pork tenderloin with the cabbage spaghetti, artichoke and melon. And some mushrooms. Okay, there we go. Let's try it. I'm just gonna try a little bit of pork first. Hmm. Really nice, tender, and the melon. Hmm. Then we need a little bit of cabbage. Hmm. Same there. All these flavors actually go really well together, if I might say so. I think this was a success. It's gonna be fun to see what everyone else comes up with and thank you for watching. And don't forget, check out Colin's cooking channel and see the rules for the three ingredient cook-up there. Bye. Mm -hmm.